Hello, Gemini. So this is the reading that I got for you guys for the mid month. So I'm going to start with the um, Romance Angel first, and then I'm going to do the Tarot. Universe, give me a four-card spread. What messages do you have for Geminis? So I got Honeymoon. Okay. So with Honeymoon, I'm getting two messages. I feel like with the first message, things are getting much better. Things are getting smoother. Um, another way, another message I'm, I'm getting as well. I feel like a lot of you guys are transitioning from one connection to another connection. Universe, give me three more cards. Um, what's going on with Gemini Love Life, December the 15th to the 31st? So I got keep an open mind. Okay. So the person that you're connecting with, they want you to still believe in them. Okay. Universe, give me three more cards. I got... Express your love and also got release your ex. Okay. So this could be a past person who want you to keep an open mind that things can get much better, that things can get smoother. Okay. And they're expressing that to you. They're expressing their love to you. However, you feel like the best thing for you to do is to release them. Give me one more card. What's going on with Gemini's? Getting to know each other. Release them because some of you guys probably have somebody else who you're interested in or they're interested in you. And now that children, let me clarify children, universe, clarify children, chemistry. Okay. So probably the person that you were dealing with who want you to still keep an open mind, keep things optimistic between you and them. This is somebody you have history with, somebody that you have children with, or you know them since childhood. Okay. Um, however, some of you guys may feel like you need to release this person to actually, um, connect with somebody who's going to be much better fit for you. Okay. Now, the signs, I'm getting another air. So, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I also got Cancer, Leo. Okay. Um, Aries as well, too. So, Universe, give me a five-part spread. What's going on with Gemini? So, five, December the 15th to the 30th, 31st, 2020. Universe, give me a five-part spread. What's going on with Gemini? So, five, December the 15th to the 31st. So I got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, some of you guys don't feel like you have the same love that you had once before with them. Like the love is basically gone. You don't have the same connection, okay? Even though this is somebody who is still in love with you. Universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Gemini's love life? December the 15th to the 31st, 2020. Universe, give me... Give me my cards. What's going on with Gemini Love Life? December the 15th to the 31st, 2020. Give me the my cards. What's going on with Gemini Love Life? December the 15th. Tower. Yeah. They're still in love with you. So you may have broken up with them, but I feel like the love is still there. Okay. Person is it's gonna be strong Scorpio vibes, okay, because it's all water. Um, but this person can be a Pisces uh cancer. You guys give me two more cards. What's going on with Gemini's love life December the 15th to the 31st, 2020, 8 of Wands? They are going to communicate to you. They're going to they're gonna express their love to you. They're going to express their love. They're going to be more honest. Okay. Universe, give me one more card. What's going on with Gemini's love life December the 15th to the 31st? Yeah, they're going to express how they feel about you because they don't want to lose you. Probably this is somebody who loves to hold back. Never like to express how they feel. And now they're finally expressing that. Okay. As a judgment of verse. But they feel like the time is now. They feel like you won't give them another chance. Like now they have to act right. Okay. So Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius, Leo, Moon and Leo. Okay. Moon and Aquarius person. It could be a Virgo as well. But I got a lot of Scorpio energy. So I do feel like this person is changing. They have transformed. Okay, are they about to transform? Universe, cover the tower. Universe, cover the tower. Universe, cover the tower. Universe, cover the tower. The five wands in the verse. Yeah, they don't want to keep on fighting, making up, breaking up. I feel like right now they want things to be consistent with you. Universe, cover the five wands in the reverse. Universe, cover the five wands in the verse. Universe, cover the. So, the nine of swords in the verse. Yeah, they want to they don't want to keep fighting with you. Okay? And if they have been like, you know, trying to play games before, I feel like they're not trying to do that no more. Universe cover night swords in reverse. Universe cover night swords in reverse. Universe cover night swords in reverse. 
Yeah, they, they. I keep on seeing they are releasing their emotions for you. They're not trying to hold it back anymore. Universe, clarify the Eight of Wands. 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 Yep, they want to be open to you. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> universe, clarify the Nine of Wands. Universe, they want to be open to you. Universe, clarify the Nine of Wands. Universe. Look, they want to start something new. <laughs> That's all they want. They want. I'm seeing that they're really trying to be open. Universe, clarify the Ace of Wands. Universe, clarify the Ace of Wands. Okay, they want to be open, okay, because <laughs> a lot of them, they see that, you know, you are, you you know, you are the bomb, okay, they see you as a queen, a king, they know that you are a great catch, and they don't want to lose you, okay, universe, clarify the ace of cups, 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 nine of cups, yep, they're going to keep on proceeding with you, keep on being consistent, or trying to be consistent, universe, clarify the nine of cups, Universe card for Nine of Cups. Universe card for Knight of Cups. Universe card for Knight of Cups. Universe Ace of Swords. Yeah, they're going to speak their truth and keep on showing that they are going to be real and honest about how they feel about you. Universe card for Ace of Swords. Okay? Because you stop giving to the situation and they know that they're losing you. Universe card for the Queen of Cups in reverse. Universe card for the Queen of Cups in reverse. Universe card for the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, so... I have the devil, and I also got the king of wands. So they're not only emotionally available to you or wanting to be emotionally available to you now, but they're very much sexually attracted to you. They they feel like you are the most beautiful person to them, okay? And they feel like this connection is still binded, okay? Like, it's very hard for you, to, it's very hard for them to release you, okay? And right now, they feel like this is their only opportunity to make things right, and I feel like that's what they're doing. They're trying to really completely be honest and transparent with how they feel about you. Universe, clarify the king of wands and the devil. Universe, clarify the king of wands and the devil. Okay? They have been stalking and spying on you too. Okay? Universe, clarify the judgment in reverse. The hierophant in reverse. Yeah, so there was a breakup. Universe, clarify the hierophant in reverse. Universe, clarify the hierophant in reverse. Or separation. Or distance. Okay, but they don't want to be petty no more. If this person was dealing with other people, I feel like they're dropping the other people and they're choosing to be with you. And they're going to be honest with it. It's not like they're going to ghost other people. I feel like whoever they were dealing with, I feel like they're going to be 100% honest and say, like, I'm in love with somebody else. Um, you can let go of this connection because I'm going to choose this person. They're going to choose you. That's what I'm saying. So I feel like they are going to be honest about how they feel about you okay and it's positive honesty like they're going to confess their feelings and their emotions and love for you okay so a lot of love okay a lot of love here a lot of emotions okay so let's do this card Right. Universe, give me four cards. Pride, what messages do you have for Gemini pertaining to your love life December the 15th to the 31st, 2020? Give me a four cards. Pride, what's going on? Okay. So I got twin flames, yin yang, zen balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Yeah, so they feel like you are their twin flame. They feel like you guys complement each other really well. Universe, give me three more cards. What messages do you have for Gemini pertaining to your love life um, December the 15th? To, oh boy, a lot of cards. <laughs> okay, I just accept the messages. Okay, so I just put it like this. Okay, so I got Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change of change mind. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like they are trans. Forming, they are becoming a better version of themselves. And I also got kings on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along when I send. And I feel like they're trying to, to transform from being somebody who was just a hot mess, <laughs> okay, to someone who's being more serious, okay. And they may feel like you have other options as well. And that's why, again, they want to make things correct with you. 
And I also got stab in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. I feel like, yeah, when you guys were in separation, you don't know how much they felt sad being without you, okay? And I also got lightning, sudden change. And that's what I'm saying. I feel like things are suddenly going to change. And them looks like they have an epiphany and a realization that they need to transform. And I got shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Keep on showing that this person is changing. And then I got golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. It's like they are transcending from this energy, from a negative self, from not loving themselves, where they're not treating you right, to now transforming within their own self, um, fixing their own wrongs, and making the connection that they have with you better, Okay. Universe, give me a four card spiral messages you have for Gemini's pertaining to your love life December 15 to the 31st, 2020. Okay, so I got um, victory and success, trumpet success. Wow, yeah, this person is definitely going to transform and they're cutting anything that was keeping this connection stagnant, not growing, or um, making the connection worse. So if it was a group of people that they were dealing with. Or if they was cheating, anything that was just negative, I feel like they're cutting these people off of their life. And it's actually happening. It's making it more balanced, okay? Um, they are trying to, you know, give back to the relationship. Probably they was really focused on themselves and now they're trying to give, okay? The universe, give me three more cards. Unless just you have four um, Gemini's pertaining to your love life, okay? Okay. That's enough. So I got throat chakra. I got emotional loss. I got choose wisely. And you beginning, yeah, you don't know how much they felt like ish being without you. And they want to make things right between you and them, okay? And they're okay of waiting for you, okay? Probably a lot of you guys are not going to take them right away. And they're okay. They're going to wait for you, okay? Because they feel like this connection have so much depth to it. This is some. They feel like you changed them, okay? They feel like you changed them for the best, to be the best, okay? And it's like now they want to give... Okay, they want to give to this connection. I'm getting Earth sign towards very Capricorn. I got Aries. I want and Sagittarius too. Universe, give me a few cards. But what messages do you have for Gemini's pertaining to the love life? Okay, so I got void of course moon nothing will come out of the situation. Probably a lot of you guys feel like nothing would come out of the situation, and finally something coming through. You're basically giving me two more cards. Oh, so many cards. Okay, so. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to take these two because they show. Um, so I got Believe in the Impossible. Yep. And I also got First Quarter Moon. Your commitment is being tested. Like a lot of you guys feel like, you know, you try so many times. You give them so many chances and it's like you're tired. And this is when they're coming back. And now you feel like, is this a test? Is this person going to play me again? Or is they serious? And I feel like with believing them possible, they want you to believe in them again, even though you thought like you, you can't anymore. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, I got new moon and Leo. Confidence is your key success. They want you to believe in this connection. They want you to put your heart into this connection. Okay. I would say again, if you guys don't trust them yet, just, you know, continue um, to see if they are going to continue to be consistent. Okay. And you can talk to them about that. Like, you know, you want to take things slow. You don't want to rush into things. And I feel like this person will um, be patient with you because they understand, like, what they put you through. And they don't want to lose you. Universe, give me four cards spread. What's going on with Gemini's? I mean, what message you got for Gemini's? Pertaining to their love life, December the 15th. So I got wait. Yeah, so the universe is wanting you to take it slow anyways with them. Universe, give me... Okay, I got let go. So if you've been trying so many times, the universe is trying to say let go, let this person put in the work, okay? Pull the weight. The universe give me two more cards. What messages do you got for Gemini's? So I got no, okay? A lot, you, some of you guys may say no to them, okay, when they come back again. The universe give me one more card. And I got ask your angels. And I also got perfect timing. So right now, okay, like a lot of you guys may feel like, okay, I'm going to take my time with them okay and that's the right thing for you to do okay be patient with yourself and i feel like this person is going to understand again 
um, would let go. This is for the Geminis who've been really trying a lot. The universe is asking you to let go so they can put in their weight, okay? With no and ask your angels, your, it's like your intuition is telling you to not set them back just right now, okay? Like in a romantic sense. Probably like just to talk, to converse. But like a lot of you guys feel like your intuition is telling you to not take them back in a romantic sense, like starting the cycle over again until they prove themselves, okay? You guys, give me a two-part spread. What messages do you have for Gemini's? Okay. So, I got inner will spring. I have an inner will spring of love that luxuriously for overflows with abundance. So, again, they know that you are the bomb. Okay? They know that they can't get what they can have with you with somebody else. You know, your essence is just, it's not something that can be replaceable, basically. Universe, give me one more card. What messages do you have for Gemini's? Pertaining to day love life, December the 15th to the 31st, 2020. Give me one more card. All right. So I got fearless self love. Whenever I choose to love myself, no matter the circumstances surrounding me, I'm practicing fearlessness. Okay. And this is 22. So this is a master number. This is three Trinity connecting your mind, body, and spirit. So again, they're, they feel like they're in, like when they're with you, again, things are much better. Um, they see you as a teacher in a positive way. Like you teach them so many great things in life and how to love. And then I also got another master number 44. Okay. So yeah, they feel like things can get better, like transcend from 22 to 44. Okay. Something that can be eternal. So I got the best answers always come from the calm, radiant place within me. I wait for these with joys. Okay. So it's like, they're listening to the intuition. The intuition is telling them to make things right with you. They feel like, again, you guys are better together, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, I got inner wakefulness. And 33, another master number, okay? So some of you guys are dealing with somebody who is your divine masculine, divine feminine, okay? You guys are there to teach each other and there to um, make things work with each other, okay? To clear some karma, okay? This person, especially if your life path is a master number and then your person is a master number, those type of connections I love because I'm a master number two. I'm a master 22. And the, the people that I was connecting with are connecting with right now. And their master number, I noticed those connections are very strong. Okay. So if you're another master number people and then your person's a master number, I feel like something is great is going to happen within that connection. Okay. So with inner wing finesse, I got, I completely awake and tuned into my truth, clarity, and wisdom, okay? So I feel like, again, they have an epiphany. They realize they want to make things right with you, okay? So that's the reading I got for you, Gemini. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal re reading with me at queenfittatero at gmail.com, okay?